Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you for watching. So I thought it was time I did a new makeup tutorial and for this one I wanted to film an updated sort of everyday makeup look. This is the makeup I'm wearing in pretty much all of my styling hauls and a lot of you have asked me to do a tutorial on it. So I thought I'd film a little updated sort of everyday makeup tutorial. I'm actually using a foundation in this that has changed my life. It's unbelievable, honestly, just one of the best foundations I've ever used. I'm also using a lot of my absolute favorite makeup products. These are the kind of ones that are always in my makeup bag. I feel like they're my ride or dies because I've just been using a lot of them for years. So I thought they were appropriate to do for my sort of updated everyday makeup tutorial. So if you would like to see how I created this makeup look, then please keep watching. So I'm just going to start off by adding some concealer to my eyelid. This one is, of course, the Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS in Custard. This is my favourite concealer for the top of my eyelid. I just feel like it's not too thick um, and it's just a really good base. And then I'm going to buff this out with one of my favourite brushes. So this is the Zoeva Concealer Blender Brush. Really handy to have brushes like this in your makeup bag. So I just put a real light layer over my eyelid and then I'm going to set that using some Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This little brush that I'm using here, this is actually from the brand B, which is a super drug brand. Um, it's actually their concealer brush, but I actually use it for powder, and it's such a good brush for under your eyes, setting things like your eyelids. It's just like the perfect shape. So for my eyeshadow today, I'm gonna to use this Morphe palette. This has got to be one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, just because it's got pretty much every brown color you could ever want. Um, it's just, I use it so often when I'm just doing an everyday natural makeup look. The colors that I really like in it, so I'm gonna use this shade here today, which, I mean, there's no names on them, but this one here, which is sort of like a really, just a nice brown shade, and then I'm gonna use the darker one, which is the one down here, just for my lash line. So they're the only two colors I'm gonna use for today's eyeshadow. Look. So starting off with that lighter brown shade, I'm going to use a Morphe, this is an E28 brush, and this I would say is my favourite brush for eyeshadow, it's just amazing, it's slightly tapered, it's fluffy, it's really easy to blend with, so I'm going to focus the product on the outer corner of my eye, and I'm going to create just like a little V shape. So once I've got the depth of colour I want in the corner of my eye, I'm then just going to blend this out. Now, when I used to blend my eyeshadow out, I actually used to take it really high up towards my brow bone. But recently, I've been doing a lot of research into eye shapes. I know that sounds really weird. I think because I'm not a makeup artist and I've never actually learned about eye shapes, I didn't really fully understand sort of where to put my eyeshadow. So I've realised that I have almond shaped eyes and that my eye dips down, so my brow bone slightly goes downwards. So when I put my eyeshadow on now, I actually just follow the natural shape of my eye rather than sort of like lifting it higher than it actually sits naturally, if that makes sense. And since I've been doing that, I do feel like my eyeshadow looks a lot better. So I really do focus most of my eyeshadow on the outer corner of my eye. And when I did do a little bit of research about eye shapes, they did say that if you've got almond shaped eyes, um, the darker sort of shadow should always be on the outer corner. And um, yeah, and I do feel like it's worked. I'll put the link below to the video that I watched. I think it was a Smashbox video on YouTube and it was just talking all about eye shape. And I actually found it really interesting because as I say, um, when you're not a makeup artist and you've never really been taught about sort of eye shapes, you kind of just guess, do you know what I mean? You just kind of guess as to what you're doing and learn as you go. But yeah, I found it really useful. And then one thing that I do still do is I do still take the eyeshadow from like my lower lash line and just buff upwards and still kind of keeping it all in this sort of like triangle section so everything's sort of going into a triangle if that makes sense. So the other thing that's changed as well when I do my eyeshadows, I used to take it all the way up to my brow bone, um, up here, but I feel like for my eye shape it actually looks a little bit better if I keep the eyeshadow sort of in the crease and then towards the nose. So I'm basically just trying to accentuate the almond eye shape that I've realized that I have. With basically just with whatever's left on my brush, so I'm not putting any extra product on my brush here. So that is my everyday kind of eyeshadow look at the moment. Nothing too heavy, it's just that one color. And then just to darken up my lash line, I'm gonna go in with that slightly darker shade. And then I'm using here, so this is a Sigma detailed lip brush, but it's so good for your lash line. And I'm gonna focus the product on the outer corner. 
And so that really is all I do with the darker shade, just to get a little tiny weeny bit of definition on my hours of one of one and put my lashes on. But because it is an everyday look, I still want it to look quite subtle. So now I've done both of my eyes, I'm going to go on to lashes. For these, I'm going to use the Lily lashes, and these ones are in Rome. These are actually my favourite lashes for like, they're kind of glam for daytime, but I'm kind of liking it at the moment. So I'm going to trim these ones down, and then I'm going to put them on. So now I've got my lashes on, I just wanted to quickly talk about this little eyelash curler thing that I get from Amazon. So this is so useful if you really struggle to get your lashes like right on your lash line. This is perfect at getting in there and really pinching the corners of the lashes to your lashes and it's, I don't know, I just feel like ever since I've used this to apply my lashes, they just seem to work so much better. So I will link this below if you guys are interested in getting one, but yeah, it's such a good little beauty tool this. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to foundation, but just before I do that, because I'm gonna be using a new foundation that, oh my God, I'm absolutely obsessed with, um, but I just wanted to talk about prepping your skin before you use it. So the foundation that I'm gonna be using today is the Kevin Aquan, this is the foundation balm. So this was doing the rounds on Instagram, I kept seeing so many people using it, and I was like, I need to try this because everyone was raving about it and oh my god it's amazing it is quite a heavy foundation so for every day maybe it is a little bit too heavy but I just really wanted to show it to you guys in this tutorial but because it is quite a heavy foundation I feel like prepping your skin is really important to make this foundation look the best that it can so as you can see my face has currently got quite a nice sheen to it and that is because before I started my makeup I prepped my face with, so I use the Ola Henriksen, so this is the Sea Rush Brightening Cream. This is amazing for under makeup, it's so good. I've spoken about this before, about how good it is as a base for your makeup. But on top of it, I use the Laura Mercier, so this is a nourishing rose oil. I feel like these two together are the perfect base for this foundation. Because when I first tried this out, I actually just put it on, on top of a standard primer, and I did feel like, it didn't sit on my skin as nicely as it does when I use the oil base. So I just wanted to throw that one in there just to show you guys the best way to kind of prep your skin for when you use this foundation. But it is amazing. So this one actually comes in a little pot like this. It also comes with its own foundation brush, which is just really handy. Um, and I'm basically just going to apply. Also, the colour that I'm using, so this is medium FB 7.5. And I'm going to apply it first with the brush and I'm going to focus the product in the middle of my face and I'm going to kind of blend outwards. This foundation though, the coverage is unbelievable. It's so full coverage. I was actually really shocked at just how amazing the coverage of this foundation actually is. As you guys know, I'm a massive sucker for that Hourglass Vanish Stick foundation and I'd never actually found anything that had a coverage that was similar to that until this one. It's that kind of foundation that whenever I wear it, people are always like, what are you wearing? What's your foundation? You get lots of compliments, I think, when you wear this foundation. So the reason that I put the foundation in the middle of my face and then blend outwards is just because a little bit goes a long way of this foundation. You actually don't need a lot of it. So once I've got the majority of the foundation on, I'm just gonna go back in with my damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend over the top of everything. We are having such typical English weather outside today and I sit by my window when I film and because it's going sunny, cloudy, sunny, cloudy, my light keeps changing so I do apologise for that, it's a little bit annoying. I mean how insane is this foundation? It literally just like completely airbrushes your face, like it's crazy. And actually because it is a balm, it does feel really nice on your skin, it's just as I say, it is quite heavy. So I do feel like you need to make sure that you've got a lot of moisture on your skin underneath so that it doesn't dry out. So this is actually the foundation that I was wearing in these recent Instagram selfies that I posted and I'm just, honestly, it's just such, such a nice foundation. I cannot recommend it enough. So next I'm gonna move on to contour and of course using my fave, this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze. So when it comes to contour for the daytime, I like to apply a lot less to my face, mainly because I like to warm my face up maybe a bit more with bronzer than I do with the actual contour. So I just put probably just about that much. Normally, you know, I would take the line like all the way down here and really fill out my cheek. But for this, I just want enough to kind of 
give my cheekbone just a little bit of a definition. And then to blend that in at the moment, I've been really loving this Spectrum. So this is the A30 brush. It's like this really little fluffy brush. But the reason that I like this one so much is sometimes I feel like if I go in with too big of a contour brush, the contour sort of ends up coming too far down the side of my face. And I don't really want it to sit there. So I feel like I've got a little bit more control over the product when I use a smaller brush to blend it out. So as you can see, for the everyday look, I literally just want to accentuate that little bit of my cheekbone there. And then just going back in with that LA Girl concealer, I'm just gonna go across my forehead and then just along the top. And then I'm gonna use that same brush to blend that in. Then I'm just gonna use whatever's on the back of my hand that I've been using from that contour product and I'm just going to contour my nose. I'm using this little, so this is a 7.3 brush from, it actually doesn't have the brand on it, it says like BD but I'll link the exact brush below for you guys but this is really good for nose contour. To buff that in, I'm using the Huda Beauty, so this is the Build and Blend brush. It's so good because it's on a little bit of an angle, and I just absolutely love it for buffing out my nose contour. So as I'm buffing, I'm basically like taking the product up into my eyebrow. This is just to create a little bit more definition between my like sort of eye socket and my nose. So I'll buff the rest of that in once I have got my concealer on. So for concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this one is in custard. And then I'm gonna apply this to my face. So I'm using the, so this is the OG shader brush from Beauty Bay, but it's actually so good for concealer for under your eyes. And then I'm gonna go back in with some of the benefits. So this is the Cakeless Concealer, and this one is in shade number two. So this is a lot brighter, and this is perfect to go in and add a little bit more brightness under the eye. So I'm just gonna focus this slightly higher up and to like the center of my face. So I'm gonna go in with a mini beauty blender to blend that out, but before I do, I just always like to put a little bit of concealer onto the beauty blender before I go in and blend. I just feel like it does blend a lot better when you've actually already got product on the beauty blender. So I'm now gonna move on to powder. So recently I've gone back to using the Ben Nye Translucent Powder and this is in Fair, so it's got a real nice pink undertone, perfect for under your eyes. So I'm gonna use that little fluffy powder brush that I use to set my eyes. Then I'm just gonna put some of the powder under my eyes to set them. So I've just used that powder to basically set under my eyes and sort of the middle part of my face. And then I'm gonna move on to the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm gonna use this NYX Cosmetics. So this is just a big fluffy powder brush. One of my favorite brushes to use for powder actually. I really like the shape of it. And then next, just to start warming up my face a bit, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier powder, but this is in Translucent Medium Deep. And I'm absolutely obsessed with this one for warming my face up. And the brush I'm using here, so this is an e.l.f. pointed powder brush, and this is particularly good for applying this, just because you get a little bit more precision because it's pointed at the end. And I'm basically just gonna go over the areas that I put that cream contour. I do love this one as well because I feel like it's just like a really nice sort of subtle bronzer as well. So next up I'm going to move on to bronzer. For this I'm using the Dior, so this is the Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze Games. This is number two and I absolutely love this bronzer. It's quite new to my makeup bag but I just love the colour that it creates, it's so nice. And then the bronzer brush that I'm going to use, so this is a Spectrum A04. This has become my new favourite thing to apply bronzer with. I think it's because it's slightly smaller um, and it's just like a really nice shape. It fits really nicely into like the little dip in my cheek. The one thing I would say though about this bronzer is a little bit does go a long way. So go in like sort of sparingly because I first time I used it I ended up looking very brown, should we say. <laughs> So 
So because this is more of an everyday look, I'm not going to bother with baking or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to go in with some blusher now. So for the blusher, I'm going to use the KKW Beauty. So this is the very graceful blush. I absolutely love this one. It's such a good colour. As you can see, it's sort of like a peachy pink. It's so nice. Um, I know that KKW products can sometimes be sold out all the time, so hopefully this one is in stock because it is such a nice blusher. And then the brush I'm using for this is a Spectrum A05 brush. This is really, really good for blush. So I've just filled my brows in and for that I use the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I'm actually using the shade 2.5 now, which is slightly lighter than the shade I was using before, but I just feel like it works a little bit better for my skin tone and then I also just set them with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I'm going to set my face now with some Max Fix Plus just before I move on to lips. So I will go in and add a really light layer of mascara to my bottom lashes but as always I like to do that after I've used my makeup setting spray because otherwise I just feel like the bottom mascara just smudges. It's so annoying. If you do get smudges try putting on after you set your face because I do think it makes such a difference. So my everyday lip combo is definitely the Morphe Sweet Tea Liner and then it kind of just sort of alternates between both of these Morphe lipsticks. So I've got one that's called Bare All. This is slightly pinker. Um, it's like a really sort of paley pink colour which is so nice. And then this one which is also amazing. So this is called Boy Toy and this one's more, much more sort of like a grey nude I suppose. So I think I'm going to use the Bare All today because that is my like ultimate combo. So I like to focus the Bare All lipstick in the middle of my lips and then just using my finger I just blend that out. So because it is a summer, I do add a little bit of highlighter to my face these days, but I'm just going to add it to my brow bow and my nose. So for this, I'm using the OMG Illamasqua highlighter. This one is just amazing. It's such a nice colour. It's like the perfect goldy, just, I don't know, it's just dreamy. And then lastly, for my mascara on my bottom lashes, I love using the Roller Lash Mascara for this. Because I don't want too much on the bottom, this is such a nice subtle mascara. So I just apply like a really, really small amount to the outer corner lashes. So super, super subtle, not much at all. So there we go guys, that is my updated sort of everyday makeup routine using all of my current favourite makeup products. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching and that you have found this video useful. I will link everything that I've used in this makeup tutorial below for you all. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!